Hello and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Jeremy and today we're going to take a look at the Surveyor 276 BHLE. This camper comes in at 32 feet 6 inches, ton to bumper, and weighs just under 6,000 pounds empty as a dry weight. As we get started up front here, we have your power tongue jack with the LED lights so you can see at nighttime if you're hooking up. Two 20 pound LP tank bottles that has the hard shell cover with the quick access lid here and those tanks will be filled by the Outpost RV. Directly behind that, we have your 12 volt cutoff switch. You can see the little red dial back there and then also a place to put your batteries. In the front, <clears throat> excuse me, we have your diamond plate rock guard, the curved radius front end with the windshield up front here. With the surveyors, it is all laminated. So you have laminated sidewalls, um, also aluminum rafters and an aluminum, la aluminum laminated floor as well. We have the large um, baggage door here, magnetic door catch. Lots of storage. We have the LED light inside and also an adapter for your jacks. We do have four jacks on here. As you can see, two in the front, two in the back. With the adapter, you can use your screw gun to run those up and down. A large 20-foot power awning with the LED light underneath it. Each arm is adjustable, so if the sun's coming down, uh, you simply pull down to adjust the pitch of the awning, and you can leave it right where it is. We have your sturdy steps going in where each leg is adjustable as well if you're on different levels of ground. Oversized grab handle, full size entrance door. It also has the screen door for you as well. Outside kitchen area, uh, we have your grill right here, the griddle set up. We have your sink, water source, and a refrigerator outside as well. Outside speakers up top, you can see those light up blue. We have your furnace vents. Tires down below, each wheel will have self-adjusting brakes. In the back, we have the center cap popped off. You can see those are quick, easy loop axles. For your outside entertainment purposes, we have your 110 outlet and cable connection as well. Black tank flush, so when you're done camping for the week or weekend, you simply hook up your water hose and you can blast out your black tank there. Rear entrance door. And as we move to the back side here, we have your travel rack with the spare tire attached to it. Um, this rack will simply fold down. You can open up this door in the back, uh, which is a really unique door. The bunk bed will lift up, which I can show you on the inside. You can store kayaks, canoes, bicycles, all sorts of stuff in there. Up top, you'll notice it is pre-wired for an observation camera. You can have that camera at any point in time that would allow you to see behind you while traveling. We have your roof ladder for maintenance purposes. This is a 30 amp unit. It will come with a 25 foot uh, 30 amp detachable power cord. City water connection right here. Um, the great thing with bunk beds is you get lots of storage. So they were able to sneak some more storage in right over here. And as we move up front here, right in front of the slide room, you're going to have your cable satellite connections. So if you're at a campground that offers that, you can just tap right in and utilize that. We also have your fresh water connection. So if you're dry camping or boondocking, um, you simply fill up your fresh water tank and you can turn on your water pump and utilize that water as well. Here we have the water heater. Um, is this one? Gas electric. This one is a gas electric water heater. So it's six gallon DSI standing for direct spark ignition. So it will ignite itself. You can use gas, um, you can use electric by itself or gas and electric together, together to get a much better refresh rate that way. And last but not least, we have the other side of the storage up here, again with the magnetic door catch. And that concludes our outside walkthrough for the 276 BHLE, and now we'll head to the inside. As we move to the inside, you'll notice we have the bedroom up front that has a door to close that off. And we'll get a nice overview of the camper here. Large windows in the slide room, nice and open all the way around. You can see we have your TV mounted on the wall that is directly across from the theater seating here. In the kitchen area, we have this high top with the counter space. Lots of counter space as we walk around with that L shape. High rise faucet. We do have the sink covers as well. And a very large single bowl sink here. Nice storage down below. We have this bottle opener that has the Surveyor logo built into it with the oven. 
we have a three burner stove furnace down below and with the three burner stove um, this is also a prep cover so you could just simply fold this back if you're wanting to cook in the very back we have your utensil cup as well as knife holders on the side there and this cup will pull out as you can see that has the surveyor logo as well nice touch in the camper up top we have your microwave more storage your range vent which will vent to the outside we have your pantry right here as you can see we have the shelves built in as well down below underneath the refrigerator we have your breaker box and fuses also where your converter will sit to the right of that we have the furnace which comes out of the um, ductwork there 12 volt refrigerator so this is 12 volt only but we also have an 80 watt solar panel on the roof already to help run that while traveling down the road we have your bathroom in the corner there before we go in there we'll take a look at the bunk beds we have your slider window up top 12 volt charge port and its own led light down below we have another emergency exit window again with the 12 volt charge port and its own uh, light as well as you can see we have the built-in ladder to get up top and then with that storage feature in the back you can see the crease in the mattress down below here that mattress will fold up in half and you got the door that goes all the way back so you can slide your kayaks canoes bicycles um, really anything you wanted you could slide it right into the camper here so really neat feature in the bathroom area we have your toilet large shower and i will also show you this shower curtain how this works it is really unique as well um, this here you simply pull across and that will go all the way over and lock in gives it a really nice touch as well we have the skylight up top there we have some towel hangers right up above the toilet and I'm going to spin around here and show you up top. We also have the vent fan in the bathroom. Right beside the entrance door, we have your medicine cabinet. Lots of great storage up there. We have your sink, large single bowl sink here. And then down below, we also have your uh, control panel where you can turn on and off the water heater with the gas and electric, your water pump. Check and see how full your tanks are and the battery level as well. As we move back out into the living room area, in the slide room, we have windows on all three sides of the slide room, very large windows at that. The dinette will turn into another sleeping space. So the table will go down. There is storage underneath the dinette as well on both sides. We have the theater seating over here, which will recline. We have the cup holders on both sides of that as well. Moving towards the bedroom, we have more storage over here. Another 110 outlet, 12 volt charge port with your carbon monoxide detector on the right hand side. We have your stereo, which is AM, FM and Bluetooth compatible. Over here, we have your digital thermostat. So you can turn on the air and furnace right there. Your controls for the lights and your slide room and awning. And down towards the bottom, we have your solar controller for that 80 watt solar panel that we have mounted on the roof. As we move into the bedroom, you'll notice it has this sliding door. Nice feature here as well. Both sides of the bed will have a 12 volt and 110 charge port. This is a true queen mattress, meaning that it is a 60 by 80 residential size queen mattress. You have a TV hookup over in the corner there window on this side that is an emergency exit window so that will open storage drawer and down there you can see the 110 and 12 volt charge port hanging storage on the left hand side behind the hanging storage is also another little cubby area with a drink holder that will lift up where that drink holder is and there's also another 110 outlet back there we have storage up top with the cargo net so you can keep stuff up there while traveling and then we also have another vent right up above the bed here 
that can lift up for greater airflow. On this side, we have the hanging storage over here, another drawer, and your 110 and 12 volt charge port. And over here, you also have the window that will open so you can get cross ventilation inside the bedroom area. That will conclude our walkthrough for the Surveyor 276 BHLE. I appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, feel free to contact myself or Henry at 866-338-9845. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.